This was the scene in Mogadishu on Thursday. The road heading to the presidential palace sealed off by angry residents, protesting the killing of six government soldiers. On Wednesday, government forces turned guns on each other, not far from Villa Somalia, the country's presidential palace. The motive behind the killing is yet to be known, but an investigation has since been launched. This was quite an unfortunate incident. The government and the public deeply condemn such acts. All those involved in the shootout have been arrested and will be subject to trial. Security is paramount and the Mogadishu Stabilization Force must double their efforts to ensure security of the capital. Incidents like these are not new in the country. Rival forces have clashed in the past, but the latest shootout has raised many questions and Kamsa's authorities have beefed up security following a spate of deadly attacks by the armed group Al-Shabaab. To the Somali forces, let us all work in a united front and defeat our common enemy. This incident will not affect the security operation of stabilizing the city. We are here with the police force and head of the military to prove that the war against Al-Shabaab is one we all seek to strengthen. President Mohamed Abdullahi Farmajo chaired an urgent security meeting following the incident, vowing to put to an end all rivalry between different security organs of the government. The killings come just days after a crucial meeting was held in the capital to lay the groundwork for transitioning of security back to the country's security forces. A 22,000-strong African Union peacekeeping mission, AMISOM, operating in the country is set to end its decade-long mission in the country by the end of 2018 with Mogadishu set to go it alone. Meanwhile, on the streets of the capital, relative stability has been restored after intelligence forces thwarted several Al-Shabaab attacks. The government says it's confident that it's winning in the fight against terror and has called for security support in terms of training and equipping its forces. But when is this shootout would likely create more concerns for its security partners? Abdul Aziz Bilal, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.